Hello. Evening. Night. Yeah. Quarter to ten. That's officially night time. Um. Uh, yeah. Been, well, busy today, actually. Um, himself was home. So I thought I'd better tidy up. Sort the sofa out. Straighten up a few bits. He's like, oh, I want you to tidy all this tomorrow. I'm like, nope. He's like, oh, I'm going to go and... So where am I going to put it? All I can, the best I can do is rearrange it. That's it. I said, you're cranky. Shush. Um, but yeah, he's, he, um, uh, he's been to the Ukraine. And um, he got... Actually, he ended up getting two of these. So this is my copy. Um, actual Chernobyl news. Actually, from issue... Yeah. 26th of the 4th, 86, which I guess is when it all happened. Um, price, uh, priceless, and you've got like what what actually happened. Um, City of Ghosts, the zone today. Um, victims of Chernobyl, uh, safety and radiation. Uh, these are actually these aren't just like props. These are properly written. I mean, the, the writing is a bit small, um, but. I guess these were what the tour, the tour guides put out um, because there was a 10% discount code um, on the uh, thing. I'm gonna have to put a warning on this video now, won't I? Saying there's like images of Chernobyl. Um, but yeah, so he, he did that. Um, he spent a week in Ukraine and so it was interesting, but you know, a bit weird and a bit spooky. Uh, he did get one other piece of merchant. Well, we got a few bits of merchandise. He likes to get. Uh, Fridge baggots and such. Um, but you get one. I can't show you this. So, um, you know how they like you, you can make novel you they get novel toilet paper like as one of the day toilet paper and stuff like this. I've seen some with like crosswords on. Um, this, I don't know what it actually says. Um, I'm going to assume it, it just says fuck off in in Cyrillic. Um, and it's a uh, Putin paper. Yeah, so you. So yeah, that's uh, he got squished presumably in his case. It's um, yeah. I don't. I, I'm assuming he's not actually going to use this. But yeah, apparently the Ukraine, the Ukrainians, hate Vladimir Putin, and this is one of the ways they express it. That's quite funny. Uh, but anyway, how are you? How are you doing? I like I said, I would have done this earlier, but um. I wasn't sure what time he was back, and knowing my luck, I would, he would have been like, oh. um, so I decided. I thought, well, if I wait till after he's gone, then I can talk to you about, you know, what he's been up to and show you some of the stuff. Um, there was like a big pile of money, like a big pile of money that was like 230 local currency, and it turns out it's worth £6.50. So, yeah. Oh, he did get. Oh, I don't there you go. Um, he got a whole pile of these as well, um, and they are, you can't really see through here, but it's just normal paper. Or was it just like novelty monies? Uh, I'm not sure what the sort of point of that is. He said he bought them basically to um, spend some of the rest of his money. So that's that one. And there's this one. It's got quite a nice, what's that actually? Oh yeah, it just says 50 souvenirs. Uh, United States of Armenia. Uh, but yeah, it's all... It's all, it's all souvenir, sort of play money. Um, and you got like an entire stack of these. Um, so I, I snuck out a couple for myself. Because why wouldn't you? So yeah, well, it's one supposed to look like, you know, American money. And one's designed to look like Euros, but I'm not quite sure the point of these. I'm not quite sure the point of an entire stack of them. Because I get the point of like, oh, that's just funny, you know, that's kind of... Unless you're going to make up your own Monopoly game, I don't know. But there you... Actually, you can. There's, um... I uh, They had it a while... Well, I guess it's still available. Um, I, I didn't buy it. I was kind of contemplating, oh, what could I do with that one? Um, but it's called Europoly or something, and you, it's basically... You, all the squares are blank, like all the positions there, but the cards, I think the cards are mostly probably written out still. But um, yeah, the actual, 
all the streets and the stations and everything are left blank so you can fill them out yourself so you can write your own themed um yeah you can have your own themed um board based on like you or your family or or your interests or something so I, I don't know if they still make those but I saw that and I was like yeah it was kind of a cool concept I'm not a big fan of Monopoly I don't, I don't really like it most probably because every time I've played it it either goes on too long or the person I'm playing with cheats or something it, it's not a game that I enjoy that much but there you go the something I do enjoy is answering questions there we go let's let's see what today's question someone outside my window is my coffee seat's it's warm so I have to open my windows and someone's smoking right outside, it's really annoying or have been smoking outside alrighty then um, hang on huh, oh yeah, sorry I was trying to work something out and it's no, you, you, yeah, it is, it is Monday, it's the thing that I'm worried about what is your best memory of something that happened at school? um I actually have quite a few good memories, surprisingly. Uh, not a specific memory, I'm um, kind of. I think I've talked to you before about this like white and orange candy striped suit I had. And I wish I had a picture to show you. Pictures exist, I just don't have one to hand. And um, we had like a favourite teacher. And she was sort of leaving so we all sort of drew pictures of ourselves on it. I think was it a blanket or a... Something that she could take with her, it was a material thing. Um, so I drew a picture of me in my orange and white candy stripe suit, that was fun. Um, that was kind of a fun memory. Uh, I remember one time we had a non uniform day, and this is when I was a lot skinnier, and I um, dressed up not entirely inappropriate, but I did have a, sh a quite a short skirt on. Um, and pe even the teacher's like, Whoa, hang on a second. Um, so that was. I don't know if it was a fun one or not. Um, just kind of silly stuff. I remember having an argument with one of the girls I was supposed to be doing a big art project with. Uh, I can't remember what the exact specifics she was just having at me. I was like, look, I'm trying to just do the. I was just. I'm not hanging around waiting for you. We're supposed to be doing this project. We're already behind. I'm just going to get on and do it. And the thing that made me sure she called me Goggle Freak. Because, you know. Except she also wears glasses. So that kind of like. What? Um, but there was some kid next to me. I don't know. Uh, know who he was. He was some, some lad like from one of the classes, or maybe a year below us. And he was just kind of stood there making Donald Duck noises next to us. And like, you know, make, not really making comment or passing judgment. And I was like, alright, fine, look, I'm done. Look, I've said my piece. And I sort of, you know, so fine, we'll, we'll, we'll work it out later, whatever. And I'm like, see you, Donald. And he said, my name's not Donald. I was talking to him. Oh, so that that was a not necessarily a good memory, um, but a fun one, kind of funny thing that happened. I just like the idea, the irony of um, someone who called me goggle free or insulted me using a nickname based on the fact that I wore glasses, who also wore glasses. That was a bit of a strange one. Um, school plays, they were a lot of fun. Uh, with one time, was it? Was it? No, I can't be eighty six. What was he? Last, uh, he, 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 you know, last time we had some really, well, we've had good snow since then, but one of the last times that I was at school, we did a protection of Drax back, and then um, we had a big snowball fight outside in the car park, including the teachers. Uh, the teachers had a snowball fight with us as well. And I wasn't even necessarily aiming, I was just like, ah, there you go, teacher, up uh, and threw the snowball and it beamed him right in his face and knocked his glasses off. <laughs> so I think it's probably the best shot I've ever had. So in revenge he um, put snow down my back. Which, th thinking about it now, is probably inappropriate for a male teacher to have grabbed a female student and put snow down her back. Um, but whatever, it was fine. The only thing I was objecting to is because of part of my um, costume, I had a swimming costume on. And so I couldn't just undo my t-shirt and shake it out. I was like, no it's stuck! <laughs> um, but then we had to go help the teacher find his glasses because I think we got none to go. We found them, but it was like, oh yeah, good shot, well done, well done you. Uh, uh, where they land? Where did they? But he was cool. We we, we got them fine. I um, like, say it was a drama teacher, and so that was that was a pretty good one. Um, 
I always liked it when, uh, because I was never the pop surprise, I was never popular. It might surprise some of you. Um, so when I sort of did something that would surprise people, that oh, oh, she can do something. Uh, like um, one of the few times we sort of played baseball. I think it was more soft, but I don't know. It was a bigger ball. I, I, I'm not sure the exact difference is, but we was Henry and Henry's mate. Henry was the bat and Henry's mate was the ball and we'd, we'd have a game. And I actually managed to get a really good hit in. And people were like, oh wow, she, she did that. And um, so that was fun. I'm just like silly things. Um, we had a, I think it was like an end of, end of the year thing. And we had like a little bit of a tea party in the classroom. And I think it was frazzles. Might have been something, some corn, corn snack. And one of the kids was like, oh, I can't, I, mean, I, was, I was numbing away because I liked them. And the kid was like, I don't know how you can eat those. I said, it's easy. I pick, I pick a few up. I open my mouth. I put them in. And they were like, okay, that was funny. <laughs> and don't forget, this is when I was like 10, 11. So yeah, that was the height of witticism. Um, but yeah, I mean, <sighs> school wasn't always brilliant, but I've had nice moments. So yeah, here's a, here's a handful. Scoop them out. Share the love. Um, silly arguments. Surprising people. Beating my teacher, the, I think probably beating my teacher and knocking his glasses off was probably the best one. Uh, but yeah, all right. Um, not a lot what I can say. I mean, it, it asks, it asks for. Um, yeah, it asks for an example. I gave you several. <sighs> Alrighty then, I'm waffling. I'm definitely getting into waffle mode. So, as always, thank you for watching. You are awesome. I appreciate and love you and. Totally thank you for being here. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!